We're going to cover the antifreezing instructions on this Vactron CV573 unit. Um, so what we've got, we've got water in the tanks. Uh, your antifreeze tank is here. Um, this valve right here is going to select your, your flow. This controls what's going into the pump. Right now you see the decal here is pointing towards the water. So the first thing we do is we twist that over so the decal's flow is facing this way, which is your antifreeze. Uh, so that's step one. The second thing we're going to do is start up the machine and turn our pump on. Um, if we've got water in our tanks, the pump will run. If our tanks are empty, this has a low water shutdown on it. So if these are empty and we turn our pump on, nothing's going to happen because that shutdown switch is engaging to prevent pump damage. So we'll hold this switch and that will cause the pump to run, sucking the antifreeze out of the tank through the pump. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll run it, and once we see antifreeze coming out the hose, then we know it's antifreeze. Then what we'll do is we'll hook our tool up here, plug it in, and run our pump again for about two seconds. And what that does is that antifreezes this part of the circuit, the bypass. And that's important as well. So we'll do that here real quick. Um, for today, since I've got water in my tanks, I will not have to hold the bypass switch. But if your water tanks are empty and you're trying to antifreeze it, antifreeze it to turn this on, you have to hold your bypass switch. So it's gonna get a little loud, but we'll walk you through the process. Water is coming out now. Right, it's turned purple. I'll go ahead and I'll shut my water pump off. I'm going to hook this up. Here. Now I'm going to turn it back on and run it for about two or three seconds. And that two or three seconds I ran it, the clear water has been replaced by the purple antifreeze. So, you know, this section is antifreeze as well. Um, now, all I've got to do is go ahead and release your pressure, and you can take your hose loose and put it back on the reel. Um, right now, one other thing I'll usually do is I'll go ahead and I'll put this straight up. That's in the off position. Um, or you can flip it back. I'd probably not flip it back to water. I'd just leave it right there. Um, you can also drain this if it's going to get really cold. You can open this up and drain your water out first. Um, if we open this up, we should have purple coming out. It is purple, so we're, we're good. And that's the process of antifreezing.